Hey guys, you're here for another uh, Vintage Guitar Minute at the All Guitar Network, my favorite other network, other than Norm's Rare Guitars. And um, so this is a 1957 ES5 Switchmaster Gibson. So it's got three PAFs, it's got six knobs, volume and tone, and it's got one, two, three, and all. So you can get first and last and get all kinds of combinations on this guitar. Um, it's just a really cool guitar, really nice shape. Few uh, things, there's been a few repairs. There's, uh, it's been refretted and um, the tuners have been changed, but a long time ago, these Gold Grovers, they look factory, but it is a, uh, the tuners were changed and it's had a neck set, which is not a big thing. It's done really well. This guitar is a monster guitar, really great sounding guitar. It was the most futuristic thing they had at this time in 1957. Again, three PAFs alone, that's, need I say more. This is the kind with a brown case right here at Norm's Rare Guitars. And the All Guitar Network. So this is a really nice example of a 1962 Gibson SG Special. It's got two P90s. It's got the Maestro Tremolo, um, the short Vibrola, um, with the uh, stop tail. With the uh, you know it has the, the uh, compensation here for the intonation. It's got the. Uh, original tuners. This is just a really nice clean example. You know, some of the discoloration on the back from just play over the years, but very clean. Just a really super guitar. This is like a Frank Zappa special over here. Very, very cool. Sounds terrific and a great example. And no broken neck, which a lot of SGs, um, you know, that are mishandled get broken necks. You got to be careful with SGs. But this one's a really cool one. Original alligator case. And this next guitar is just like the Mona Lisa. This is a 1956 Gibson Super 400C with a marbleized guard. This is in pristine condition. This is one of the cleanest guitars of this era. You know, a little ding here, but I mean, overall, just super clean. It's got the Grover Imperials on there. Um, just a beautiful guitar. They can't make guitars like this anymore. Spruce top, ebony board, um, you know, the, all the gold hardware. I love this marbleized guard. It looks so great. Um, you know, the crown up at the very top, the split parallelograms. Um, you know, just an amazing guitar and an amazing example in just great condition with the brown case and the canvas cover that goes over the case too to protect the case. Just really cool. One of my favorites. This is out of my own personal stash. We have another one over here that's more of a player grade. This is actually a 49. This one's a little older, but this pick guard has been replaced. Um, it had probably a diamond or something floating on here that kind of just discolored a little bit over here. But just a very nice guitar in very nice condition. Just a great example, but not like that other one. The other one is really more collector's uh, grade. This one here because of the pick guard and a couple little things like this uh, make it more uh, kind of not player grade, it's somewhere between player and collector grade, but just what a great guitar, uh, very early cutaway, Super 400C. Okay guys, so this is a very cool 1968 Fender Jazz Bass, uh, very nice condition. Um, it has got um, the block inlay and it's got the larger uh, decals right after the transition logo and very nice condition. Um, it's a little on the heavy side, but it's a really nice bass. Sounds great. A little wear around the edge. Three-tone sunburst, rosewood fingerboard. It's got the plates, original pickups in there. Um, just a very cool jazz bass. If you're a jazz bass fan, this is uh, a really nice example. Right here. Okay, guys, this is a double cut 1961. Les Paul Jr. So it's still thick body before they went to the SG body, but pretty pristine shape. Very little wear. Um, four digit serial number. Just really stunning 
thick body, one P90, the, the uh, you know, transparent knob, same as like on a black Les Paul Custom, uh, the original bridge, original tuners. This one's a really killer example. Love this guitar. So this is another SG Special. Um, you know, we showed the other earlier one, the 62. This is a 68, but it's in beautiful shape. Short vibrato, you know, the uh, stop tail, two P90s, rosewood board, dot inlay, bound neck, really clean, just a beautiful example, cherry red finish. Really cool guitar um, with vibrato and uh, doesn't get too much nicer than this for this era. A little bit narrower at the nut, but not super narrow at all. So 